हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व टू न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन ग्रेडिएंट ऑफ स्केलर फंक्शन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हियर स्केलर फंक्शन इज एल एन ऑफ आर हियर फाइव इज स्केलर फंक्शन देन दे आर आस्किंग व्हाट इज द ग्रेड फाइव फाइव इज अ स्केलर फंक्शन नाउ माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आर इज अ पोजिशन वेक्टर एवरी वन नोज दैट देर फॉर दिस आर इज नथिंग बट पोजिशन वेक्टर विच इज नथिंग बट एक्स आई प्लस वाई जे प्लस जेड के दिस इज कॉल्ड आर देर फोर हियर लेट एस फाइंड मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ आर बिकॉज द ग्रेड इज डिफाइंड फॉर स्केलर क्वांटिटी ओनली बट इट इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी देर फोर मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ आर विच इज रिटर्न एज आर ऑल्सो इट इज नथिंग बट अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई स्क्वेयर प्लस जेड स्क्वेयर देर फोर अगेन कैन बी रिटर्न एज दिस आर कैन बी रिटर्न एज एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई स्क्वेयर प्लस जेड स्क्वेयर अंडर रूट मीन्स पावर वन बाय टू राइट But here we have to phi is nothing but ln of r. So let us find this function phi, scalar function phi, which is nothing but ln of r. So let us put this r value here, right? Therefore, it will become ln of x square plus y square plus z square power one by two, right? Now, my dear students, we have one log property. That is, if you have ln of a to the power n, then it will become n ln of a, right? This is a log property. So let us apply the same property here. Therefore, this phi, which is nothing but ln of r, will become this one by two will come outside this ln. Therefore, one by two ln of x square plus y square plus z square. This is how we can apply. Now let us put this phi, which is ln. So here we can find del phi, and this del phi, it is gradient or it is a del operator of a scalar function. It is nothing but gradient, which is a vector quantity. therefore it is equal to it is written as i do phi by do x plus j do phi by do y plus k do phi by do z that already we have seen many times right so let us put the value of here phi therefore if i put this phi this del phi is equal to i now it is nothing but do do x of phi is 1 by 2 ln of x square plus y square plus z square, right? As j do by do y of phi is one by two ln of x square plus y square plus z square plus k cap, right? Do by do z of phi is one by two ln of x square plus y square plus z square, right? This is how we have to write. Now, my dear students. Here one by two, one by two, one by two is always constant here. Therefore, let us take this constant outside, right? Therefore, this del phi will become equal to i into one by two i cap into one by two. See what is the differentiation of c d dx of ln of x is nothing but one upon x. This is the differentiation rule. Therefore, similarly, first of all, I have to go for differentiation. Sorry, uh, for logarithmic function. Then in between, I have to go for the function. See how to differentiate then this. Therefore, it will become first differentiate for the logarithmic function. It will become one upon x square plus y square plus z square. This is a derivative of logarithmic function. Then I have to go inside and I have to differentiate this function and I have to write in multiplication. Therefore, it is with respect to x. Do to x of partial derivative with respect to x. For x, y square and z square are constant. Therefore, derivative of y square plus z square is zero. Therefore, there will be a derivative of only x square, which will become two x. Therefore, here we have to multiply with two x, right? Plus here j cap into one by two is constant. Similarly, the derivative of ln of x square plus y square plus z square is one upon x square plus y square plus z square. And here it is with respect to y. Therefore, for do y. y is variable x square plus z square is constant therefore derivative of y square will become 2y and this will go in multiplication 2y right plus k cap into 1 by 2 is constant right again ln of the derivative will become 1 upon x square plus y square plus z square and for do do z of x square plus y square plus z square here z square is only variable x square plus y square derivative will, will become zero with respect to z therefore this z square will become 2z Two z, right? Now here, this z z will get two uh, two will get cancelled. 
O2 will get cancelled here. Right. So my dear students, what will remaining? Therefore, this del phi will be equal to del phi is nothing but del ln of r, which is equal to c x i. Denominator is same. Denominator is also same. Plus y j plus here z k divided by denominator is x square plus y square plus z square. Now my dear students, see r is nothing but under root of x square plus y square plus z square. Then r square will be equal to here I can write. Let us write here r square will be equal to it will be x square plus y square plus z square. So here x square plus y square plus z square can be written as r square. And x i plus y j plus z k is r r vector r. See x i plus y j plus z k is a vector r. Now r square is x square plus y square plus z square. So let us put here. Therefore, this will become vector r divided by r square. Now let us simplify this. Therefore, this del phi, which is nothing but del of ln r, will be equal to vector r divided by r square. It can be written as vector r divided by r into 1 upon r. And my dear students, this vector r divided by magnitude of vector r is nothing but unit vector in the direction of vector r. Therefore, it will become r cap unit vector in the direction of r divided by r. Right. So, this del ln of r is nothing but r cap divided by r. See my dear students, see how to remember this logically that I am going to tell you. See in previous lecture, in the first lecture we have seen del r is nothing but r cap. Then in next lecture we have seen del r power n is equal to n r power n minus 1 r cap. And now we have seen del ln of r is equal to 1 upon r r cap. Right. With the help of this simple logic we can develop here. See, if I operate this del as a derivative, let us consider this del as a derivative. Right. And my dear students, let us differentiate this ln of r. If I differentiate this ln of r, then I will get 1 upon r. Right. But del operator, if we apply on the scalar function, then it is a vector quantity. Then it is a vector quantity. So to make it vector quantity, we have to apply here unit vector in the direction of r. Therefore, here there will be a r cap. Similarly, here del r power n. Operate this del as a differentiation. Differentiation. What we will get? Then we will get n r power n minus 1. But as this del operator is applied, therefore it must in the right side there must be a vector quantity. So to convert this vector quantity, here where here vector is r na. Therefore, unit vector in the direction of r we have to put here. This is how logically you can understand. Now, let us understand one more question, very interesting question. See, here they have given a function 4x square y minus 3z square x. Find unit normal at 1 to 1. Now, they are asking to find unit normal. Now, my dear students, the normal vector to the surface is nothing but gradient that already we have seen in gradient. Right, gradient is a normal or perpendicular. Normal means perpendicular. And normal or perpendicular to the surface is always gradient that already we have seen and we have proven right in the gradient that is when I am teaching you del operator right. So my dear students here they are asking unit normal means unit vector they are asking unit normal means unit vector. So first of all let us find gradient and leave gradient vector and then divide this gradient vector with the magnitude of this gradient vector. So here we have to find let us say this is a phi del phi will be equal to this function is a phi this function is a phi will be equal to i do do x of phi plus j do do y of phi plus k do do z of phi now let us put the value of phi here i cap j cap and k cap now i cap do x of phi is 4 x square y minus 3 z square x plus j do do y of phi is 4 x square y minus 3 z square x plus k cap do do z of phi is 4 x square y minus 3 z square x right let us simplify this therefore this is a del phi right now gradient of phi therefore it will become i now see many times we have seen here do x means with respect to x only variable y and z are constant therefore it will become here x square means 2x into 4 is it is 8 
एक्स वाय माइनस फोर एक्स देर इज वन माइनस थ्री जेड स्क्वेर सी हियर दिस इज अल डेरिवेशन नाउ नाउ अगेन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई मीन्स ओनली वाई इज वेरिएबल एंड जेड एंड एक्स आर कॉन्स्टंट देर फोर इट विल बिकम प्लस जे हियर फोर वाई देर इज वन देर फोर फोर एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस जीरो बिकॉज देर इज नो वाई टर्म इज हियर प्लस के क्या प्लस के क्या इन टू हियर डो डो झेड ऑफ विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू झेड इट इज डो डो झेड ऑफ इट इज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू झेड मीन्स ओनली झेड इज वेरिएबल नाउ एक्स स्क्वेर फोर एक्स स्क्वेर वाई इज अ कॉन्स्टंट देर फोर इट विल बिकम झीरो माइनस फॉर झेड हियर झेड स्क्वेर मीन्स टू झेड इन टू थ्री इज सिक्स झेड एक्स इट विल बिकम सिक्स झेड एक्स राइट नाउ माइट स्टूडेंट देर फोर दिस दिस विल बी इक्वल टू डेल फाय और ग्रेडियंट ऑफ फाय विल बी इक्वल टू एट एक्स वाय माइनस थ्री झेड स्क्वेर इंटू आय कैप प्लस फोर एक्स स्क्वेर इंटू जे कैप माइनस सिक्स झेड एक्स इंटू के कैप नाउ इन दिस इक्वेशन लेट एस पुट द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स वाई झेड बिकॉज ऑलरेडी दे हैव प्रोवाइडेड यू पॉइंट हियर जस्ट अ मिनिट हियर दे हैव ऑलरेडी प्रोवाइडेड यू पॉइंट नाउ लेट एस पुट द वैल्यूज नाउ हियर जस्ट अ मिनिट दिस इज अ पॉइंट दे हैव गिवन सो लेट एस पुट दिस वैल्यूज दैट इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन From this x is equal to one, y is equal to two, and z is equal to one. That you have to put. Therefore, this del phi, that is gradient of phi, will become eight into one into two minus three into one square i cap. This is a i cap plus four into x is one square into j cap minus six into z is one, x is one, k cap. So let us simplify this. Therefore, this gradient of phi will become this is nothing but sixteen minus three. 16 minus 3 is 13. Therefore, this will become 13i. Right? Definitely, 16 minus 3. Then 4j plus 4j. Right? Here minus 6k. This is your gradient of phi. This is your gradient of phi. Now, but they are asking in it normal. This gradient of phi is a normal to the surface. This is a normal to surface. That is, surface is normal to. 4x square y minus 3z square x. Now, but they are asking unit normal means unit vector in the direction of this normal. Therefore, we have to unit vector is nothing but we have to find magnitude of this and we have to divide this magnitude to this vector. I will get unit vector. Therefore, here magnitude of del phi will become under root of 13 square plus 4 square plus minus 6 square. Let us find this value. This value you will get under root of two two one. Therefore, here they are asking del phi cap means unit vector in the direction of this del phi vector, which will be equal to del phi vector divided by magnitude of this del phi, which we will get thirteen i cap minus four uh, sorry plus four j cap minus six k cap divided by under root of two two one. Right. This will be the unit vector in the direction of del phi. and this is your answer for this question thank you dear students in next lecture we will start diversion of the vector